Hey YouTube, it's New Mistaka here, and today I am bringing to you um, an unboxing. This is a box from NGC that arrived while I was uh, while I was away, and um, this one is one that I've been looking forward to for some time because it contains all of my graded Nanjing pandas. Um, so uh, let's open this box up, and uh, without any big delay we can take a look inside and see what grades we've got. So this unboxing contains the results of two, uh, two NGC invoices. One of them uh, is in the, just in the straightforward modern tier and the other one is for an early release designation. Um, with NGC you need to have five coins minimum per invoice to get the pricing which is cost effective they do charge an arm and a leg for early release designation. Uh, it's $15 per coin extra over and above, which I think is a crazy price, but uh, very occasionally I pay it just to get this blue label and on the early release designation. So first one up is uh, Mexican Libertads, 2016 one ounce uh, proof silver Libertads. PF68 is not a really good result. Um, none of these coins should really get a 68. They should all be either 69 or 70, and it should be roughly 50% 70, and the rest 69s. But just occasionally, you get one of these low grades. Um, I kind of think, half, half think they do it on purpose, but I guess they probably found some little specks of something on the coin which was enough to differentiate between a 68 and a 69. Um, the, the other two that I sent um, actually got a 69, uh, which was okay. But really, I, I just I don't understand why at least one of them didn't get a 70. I was certainly expecting to get one 70 or maybe even two 70s out of the three coins. So it's a little disappointing. But, um, you know, I do grade a few of these each year just to have a continual collection and run of the uh, the dates on these one ounce silver proof libertads. So uh, probably best to forget those really. Wasn't a great result and let's move on to some of the Chinese non-fiat coins. So the first one of these is the, um, the, the Mandarin Duck and Swan. You've got the Loving Swans with the silver in the centre. Uh, you've got on the Swan side copper and on the Mandarin Duck side you've got it in brass. There is actually quite a lot of high-tech uh, minting technology that's gone into uh, the way these um, coins uh, kind of work and operate, particularly on the other side, on the, uh, on the duck side. You can see it actually, depending on which angle you hold it, the, 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 the water and, the, um, and everything looks slightly different. And this is, um, I don't exactly know what's behind it, but apparently it's some newfangled technology at the Nanjing Mint that is driving these. But this is the second in the series of the auspicious matters. The first one was the Dragon and Phoenix medal. There were five or six variations of that. This one there'll be another four or five variations and this is the first of those variations. The second one has got uh, green enamel over the water and is also available now from Lucky's store. Brings us on to the Nanjing Panda. The Nanjing Panda, this is the first of what will be an annual series of these pandas as an alternative non-fiat version to the regular coin panda version. Um, very low mintage this year in this introductory year, complete sellout uh, within literally a few hours for pretty much every version, high demand, prices in the second-hand market, secondary market are already very high. Um, antique versions did very well with a 70 here for the brass antique version, 69 for the copper. There are only 30 of these um, antique Nanjing pandas that have been minted in brass and in copper. Um, they sold out pretty much immediately. I was very lucky to get this particular pair and uh, very lucky indeed that it's got a 70 on one, even though I didn't get manage to get the 70 for the whole pair. So uh, really nice. I think most people seem to agree that this is the best looking of the of the versions uh, with the uh, the definition provided by the antiquing process. Then we've got the regular brass one. This is a proof um, 
did very well on these as well. There are only 99 of these that were minted, and this is a proof 70. Um, I sent three brass and three copper in. Uh, the copper has a mintage of 199, the brass has a mintage of 99, the antique a mintage of 30. And uh, awaiting, um, well, either awaiting me in the office or on the route to the office is the silver ones that I ordered as well. So there's uh, a number of silver ones and a silver antique one. Silver antique is a 65mm one and there's 30 of those and there's uh, the regular silver proof has uh, 19, 199 mintage. So of the brass ones I got two 70s and a 69 which I was absolutely um, pleased about, no problems there. The copper uh, was less positive. Um, they've actually given quite a few 70s to, uh, to Lucky when he sent his in for grading and the ones that have been available on eBay have been Lucky's, um, Lucky's ones. He sent about 20 or 30 in, I think, for grading. and uh, Or maybe he sent 40 or, 40 or so in for grading, and probably 50% of those got a 70, which was pretty good. Of the three I sent in, um, two 69s and 170. So I wasn't quite as lucky, didn't quite hit it. Um, I managed to get another couple of these coins from uh, another eBay dealer in China and I'll be sending those in with the silver and we'll see whether I can find a way to uh, to increase my average of 70s and uh, get another couple of 70s along the way and if I do probably the 69s will then uh, be put up for sale so uh, it'll release some back into the market because these are completely sold out um, in pretty high demand uh, and this is the first year the first year of what will be a, uh, a really nice new series. So six variations. Um, they all look pretty neat when they're laid out. Uh, the antique, the brass and the copper. Um, let me know what you think of this unboxing and let me know whether you think it's worth paying for early release designation as well. So please like, please subscribe and above all please comment and let me know what you think.